Hello, I'm John Harold from Zytron. During the next three minutes, I'll be showing you how to install the Navigator RIP and workflow. We'll start by downloading the installer using the link that was either emailed to you or noted in the RIP package if one was shipped. If emailed, simply copy and paste the link into your browser. Note that the zip file containing the installer will start downloading. When it completes, select Open and drag the folder contents onto your desktop. Open that folder and look for Navigator Installer. Double click it and begin the process. If the Windows Protection screen comes up, simply click More Info and then Run Anyway. The installer will begin the process of uncompressing the installer application, which may take a few minutes. When the welcome screen appears, click Next. You'll then be asked to read the license agreement and click the box saying that you agree to the terms. Feel free to read the entire agreement before clicking Next. When the product selection window appears, you'll have the choice to install the RIP and workflow or just the RIP. In this video, we're going to choose the RIP and workflow. So with that button highlighted, click the Next button. The next window will request your license key known as an LDK. This key was likely emailed to you or appears on a license sheet in your RIP package if it was shipped. If emailed, simply copy and paste the key here. Type it manually if you have a license sheet. Click Next. If you need to change the installation directory, do it here. It's advisable to leave the location at the default. Click Next. If you want to change the program folder name, you can do it here. Click Next. The installer will give you a chance to go back and change the folder name and location in case you've made a mistake. If not, click Next one more time. This part will take a few minutes as all the relevant files are copied to your PC. When finished, the successful installation window will appear. Click the Finish button. Note the Navigator Workflow Server icon on your desktop. Double-click the icon to launch the workflow server, which will also launch the RIP. Once you verify the RIP has started, double-click the workflow client icon to launch it. Enter administrator as the username and leave the password entry blank. Click OK. The client will link to the server and you will see the workflow interface. Test the workflow by clicking the workflow menu at the top of the window and selecting New Workflow. Enter a name for the workflow and click OK. Click and drag a RIP action then a RIP output action into the upper workflow window. Click the Edit button to complete the workflow creation step. The RIP and workflow have been completely installed and are ready to be customized with your settings. Thanks for joining us.